Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. In this video we'll be talking about progression, chapters and stages and the two teams that we're using and the single team that we're using on single stages and how to come by about it and how to finish it. And they were talking, they were having discussions and arguments and we shared some stuff and we looked at some uh, comments on Discord, on Reddit. And we were talking between each other, me and the other players, uh, especially free to play players and casuals. And uh, we saw that there's a, a small problem and uh, like small uh, things that and details that we need to talk about. And let me show you, before I start uh, showing you the replays and uh, the fights that I went through, and I recorded live fights because replays doesn't show only the, the, it doesn't show the two teams, it shows one fight and it's the last fight, which is a little bit stupid. I hope they fix this. So the teams that are, right now I'm at Bison stage and uh, you need to uh, fight him and his explosion almost kills everybody so you need to deal with him. Uh, stuns or silence or kill him with silencing him and his passives and that's what I did actually. I did a successful run uh, versus him and I'll show you the teams. And the second team is a normal guile team that you need to uh, finish and kill uh, without getting killed and this is the team that you're gonna be struggling with if you don't have stuns, but it's not a problem. I almost finished it, but I stopped because I didn't record it. I want to record the whole run. So the teams that I'm using, and uh, this is uh, so far like one of the most successful teams that I'm using, especially when I got the six out of six cars on uh, OG Zangief, which is helps a lot in many situations. And the only change that I do here is sometimes I run E Honda as a tank, and sometimes. Zangief and why is that whenever I have enemies that has soul damage or flame damage So I I use OG Zangief because he mitigate 25% for the, my entire team from soul damage and From flame damage and there's an extra 8% mitigation that goes straight up to Honda So this is more mitigation almost 33% and for him he has 55 uh, He have 50% of mitigation from flame and soul damage it means he survived the most on my team and my lineup even if he gets hit to the face and i run some heals and i'm uh sometimes i run this uh ex move uh that uh quaking flames or quacking flames whatever you want to call it of uh, virgil and uh, the tanuki for some damage sometimes i run uh the put crazy potato on this team because it's a little bit hard to survive against bison or against teams that are higher than you as you see 33 million versus 10 million but it's okay and when i use uh honda it's because of his desperation i use honda he survives a lot especially when i put somebody like Zangief on top of him gives him more stats buffs him a little bit gives him that mitigation against soul damage if they can do soul damage but Mainly when I uh, use Honda, it means nobody is against me have either flame or soul damage. Uh, but this is how I run my first team. And uh, I start with Guile, of course, buff with the Street Poison, uh, stun with uh, with B Zangief and use C3 of Guile. And that's uh, the normal rotation that we all use and we know about. The second team, which I found super successful, uh, I tried Viper. The, the most thing that I need to shed light here, uh, people are telling me Viper, 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 and we said late game Viper helps in specific scenarios and situations. If you're facing a team that could deal AOE damage to you and uh, you want to deal massive AOE damage to them, Viper could help, especially if you build her up 6 cars and 30 uh, signature. But for me, I find it a little bit lacking in damage and uh, I find using uh, Fashion Blanca most, more, mostly strategic. Why? I'm going to tell you why. Fashion Blanca, first of all, his, C1, his super takes a lot of time. So this will actually give you the time to land a C1 whenever you want. And then you can use his C2. And his C2, you can dodge stuff with it because he goes back and forth. And the C1 of uh, Summer Yang also dodges stuff when he goes back and forth. As, as, as I saw, uh, showed you in the previous video when I was clearing stages, how I uh, dodged damage using uh, Summer Yang and using 
uh, Fashion Blanca, and it's awesome. It's actually awesome. And I like the fact of one thing, and, and you'll see it in the replays. I use sometimes Summer Yang to go in front of my lineup, take the hit if Fashion Blanca or Dalsim would be taking the hit, and he would die and take the hit in the face instead of my carries, and that will allow me to survive and do more damage. So it's a little bit of technicality that I use more and strategically more than bursting or, or going ham and trying to uh, damage uh, or out damage my enemy opponents i try to play smarter not uh, aggressive because uh, survivability is a thing that we lack here not damage we can we all have teams that deals damage ramp up and and we can kill the enemy but the problem is our unit surviving and the c2 of fashion blanca is perfect the c1 of uh, summer yang is perfect for dodging any kind of hit and uh, dalsim has a lot of dodge and because if he does the yoga tower he get penance get more dodge and evasion which is synergizes with this team i use bison of course to tank in this team when we when we go to th three teams there will i will be hard uh, a little bit stuck because i will be needing a third team uh, many people told me uh, when I showed the Virgil clip of me using him on my teams that uh, it's impossible on stage in chapter 37 to defeat any stage of two teams which that's completely false and I'll be showing you in the videos uh, it's actually simple if you put your mind into it and uh, let's go and show you the first clip here we go so Stage 37, uh, 20, I guess, or 37, 16. Fashion Blanca team with Bison, uh, Summer Yang, and uh, Dalsim, 37, 16. Uh, I cleared it. It's a normal team. So the team before it, uh, it doesn't show in the replay. As you see, the replay are, are, are uh, for some reason, stupid. So I used Guile and Bizangif, and then I, I recorded everything uh, uh, live. As you see, uh, Summer Yang, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, Fashion Blanca, then uh, Dalsim. Uh, easy peasy. I used the charm here and it interrupted them and then they got back into position so I can continue my uh, rotation. The second time I used Fashion Blanca again and I used Summer Yang, Fashion Blanca. As you see, I, I take my time for me to use the C2, the C1 and everything. I use Virgil EX here because I know that Dalsim will take a hit in the face. Uh, and I wait. And uh, then one unit remaining. Uh, I start with Fashion Blanca. And uh, I couldn't continue because uh, it, wasn't, uh, it was out of time. I use Fashion Blanca again. Everybody dies. Bison survives. Does his explosion and uh, defeat uh, Blanca. That was easy. Uh, here I was triggered because I can't find the replay for this first fight. So I decided to record live my fight at stage 3720. And uh, these are the two teams that I'm using. Fashion Blanca with Bison and uh, Dalsim, Summer Yang. And I'm using the second team that I show you uh, regularly what I use. So I start immediately with Fashion Blanca. Look at the strategy that I use. I use Dalsim Yoga Tower. Look how slow the C2 is like like going. And then I go and use uh, Bison. I use the charm. Uh, their Honda gets charmed. He gets hit in the face. I'm surviving. Everything is good. Now I can go with my first uh, my second rotation. So I have no problems. I start with Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, Fashion Blanca, then Dalsim. I use the AX move just because I don't want anybody to die at this point here. Everybody is surviving. Everything is going good. And now, here. So here they're gonna start uh, when I start. So I need to sacrifice Summer Yang for my team to live. So I time Summer Yang when their guy hits my Fashion Blanca and Summer Yang dies. My carries are alive. I can go and kill their team now with my Fashion Blanca. As you see, I used Fashion Blanca. I interrupted their combos. And I couldn't continue, carry on. That Bison died. I wanted to use Bison C1, but it doesn't matter here. I use it any, like after the, uh, the combo. Fashion Blanca, Dalsim, and that's it. That's the first fight. I didn't use B Zangief. So 
you don't need always stuns. You can use the charm. You can use the evasion. You can use strategy and tactics. My second team, I'm using E Honda because there's no flame also damage against me. So I'm using the normal lineup, but E Honda instead of Zangief uh, to tank for me. And this is the f how the fight goes. I wait for 81 seconds. This is the regular uh, timing for uh, Combat Guile. And uh, at the end of the C1, I use it uh, with the Sweet Poison, Stun. I use EX move, then Stun. So the seven attacks lands on the team that I'm fighting. So use the EX, then use the C2 of B Zangief. It will give you more success rate in the, in the stuns. And as you see, I time it perfectly. I hit them, I see them low HP, I can go again, it stacks the attack, I kill them all, and the only unit that uh, is surviving is the Capri, and we deal with it later. So she hits my, here what, where you need to be smart with your thinking, she hits my B Zangief, so uh, if he goes below 40% he dies, so I use the healings, and it healed him more than 40%, so she didn't execute him, and he stayed alive, and as you see we just uh, kill her by the end of the fight. And this is how everything uh, goes uh, for these fights. Uh, just you need to be... Uh, I know people hate to play manual, but free to play, this is your only path. Play manual or wait for like two, three months until you level up so much that you can auto it. As you see, Gal 99 million, almost 100 million. And the total damage of my second team, almost 100 million. Now, uh, I will show you these fights. It's uh, single battles. This is the lineup that I use. Normal lineup that everybody uses. Bison in front, uh, Bizangif, uh, Guile, and uh, Street Poison. I wait always at 81 seconds because this is uh, the timing for me that I discovered in this game that works. I see them low HP, so I go back again as my bar full, uh, is full. And, and uh, this is how easy single fights are. And here, you need to pay attention. I see the full combo bar of Chun-Li, so I use the Virgil EX, so my team would survive and I can execute. Or she would wipe me and kill everybody else. So you need to keep an eye open for these small uh, details for you to land them. Now, the other fight, 37-23, uh, also single fight, same team. As you see, I use Chun-Li on Guile for more crits and Kami on Beast, so she lands with his trigger effect that armor break as much as possible as you see t-hawk have two armor breaks now it's a mad view uh, stage you can use charm to kill his team but i know that i would defeat it without using that kind of cheese i was just going ham clearing stages so fast this this live recording is back to back me finishing everything on single trial it's not like oh i'm repeating and I'm, i can't fight and i'm dying and no just you need maybe some rng Maybe you need some timing, some strategizing, and that how everything goes. And we cleared this stage. And after that, I went, and it's a Bison stage. I saw Bison, I gave it a couple of tries, and I wanted to record it in a different video. So, uh, these how the fights have been going for me. And uh, I will be recording this fight against Bison. Uh, I saw Whales struggling uh, to defeat that. To be honest, you, you can use Evil Ryu as a mercenary it will deal uh, he will deal with him you can use uh beast uh oji zangief which i'm gonna use actually you can use somebody like virgil so your virgil won't die but your bison will not die but it's a kind of hard i will not use mercenaries uh many people tell told me using mercenaries is kind of cheating no it's not they put them here for free to play casuals and for uh whales I know it's hard to find people that having these units or lending you them, you can go to the main discord, it's in the link below. Go to the discord, talk to a bunch of people, there's a awesome people, friendly people, uh, most of the whales are uh, friendly there, they could help you and lend you, uh, add you to, your, uh, to their uh, friend list and help you and lend you these units. But as you see, you don't even need mercenaries most of the times maybe in one stage two stage you need them but most of the time i never use mercenaries my mercenaries if you if you go and check there uh thank you hazing by the way it's all from hazing so i have his uh virgil i have his ken and ha has his evil ryu damn man hazing you 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 just a whale man you just a whale stop spending bro <laughs> stop spending 
Anyway, uh, I'm just waiting for Harry Zink. I want to check his summons on the Ninja Turtles. Go watch his video. I will link it down in the description. It's really amazing. Uh, he's preparing for it. He just gathered a lot of tickets. He gathered a lot of tickets. And uh, I'm, I'm waiting for him. I'm not going to summon for uh, Goken. I'm going to go straight up for Akuma. And uh, that's all for the video. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly. Time to fly.